Honey, it's family hour. There must be something on. Oh, wow! Candy critters! Oh! Oh, great! It's Monsters, our favorite show. It's starting. Dr. Colin, I can't wait all day. You understand me? You have been here how long? Eight years. The former director has indicated in his last report that you were making progress towards rehabilitation. The state has a great need for gifted surgeons, Dr. Colin. I believe, with my help, you could still become a useful and very productive member of our new society. Will I have your cooperation? Yes. Good. Very good. How is the new medication working? Fine, thank you. No more hallucinations about your little clay man? No. All right, that's all. You may go. I'll take you back now. Those are going to kill you. I'm quitting. Too expensive. Black market doesn't even have them anymore. I'm glad you're cooperating. I'm crazy, Dr. Jarris, not stupid. I'm aware of the change in policy. If we cannot serve the state in some capacity, what reason is there for our existence? What do they call it? What? The new cure for the incurable. Perpetual care. They should have made you director, not that young idiot. Today's procedure will be one that I pioneered and developed Cardiac Institute, successfully for the first time over 20 years ago. Observe the detail. It is anatomically perfect. It is not subject to disease or decay, and it cannot be corrupted. Quiet! There will be no talking. Is that understood? there all night? Oh, I must have fallen asleep. I, I was working late. 
I brought the anatomy books you wanted. They weren't easy to get. The one in brain structure's been out of print for years. Oh. Oh, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate it. I need these to complete my work. It's important that my sculptures be perfect. I would have thought you already knew everything there was to know. At, at one time I did. But there wasn't any room up here anymore, and my brain exploded. <laughs> and they locked me up. You could get out if you wanted to. And do what? Serve them? I have my work here. I want to say, I am on the verge of a breakthrough. It's remarkable what you've done. These are so realistic. This one almost looks like... Hope you don't mind. It's, uh, it's not finished yet. No, not at all. Soft clay feels very much like human flesh. Well, it is. Really? We're all decaying tissue, all of us. Turning to dust. Clay. I'm supposed to take you to the day room. I won't go. Dr. Cullen, you promised you'd cooperate. I won't waste my time weaving baskets. I have to study, I have to work. You can't stay in here all day and night. Dr. Starr wants you to make... What does he know? He's a party-appointed imbecile, a stupid little ant brain twit. Please, Dr. Cullen, he's just looking for an excuse to... To what? Tell me what. Well, what are his plans? Please come with me. Five twenty p.m. Patient Colin, third session. Administered fifty milligrams of phenothiazine PO. How do you feel? Sleepy. In our last session, you began to talk about a sensation you were having of uh, coming apart. Who oh, is yes. coming apart? Tell me about it. I was working. My, my arms uh, were becoming numb. They, 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 they seemed to go dead. And then my hands separated from my wrists and they moved on their own across the table. Were you in any pain? No, no pain. Was this the first time it happened? No, another time, my heart, my lungs, every organ in my body seemed to want to escape. Escape? Why would they want to? Because they know my body was dying. Your physical health is excellent, Dr. Collin. It's a very strange disease. I've, I've never known anything like it before. But I, I found a way to, to, to save myself through my work. You mean your little clay figures? Yeah, I, I, I am putting some of myself in, in every one of them. Before I, I collapse, I, I am going to, to transfer my, my soul, my intellect, my existence. What will happen to you? Well, my body will dissolve. But I'll live on in them. Don't you see? I will really die, not as we know of it. I live on forever. I have created my own salvation. I have created my destiny. That is, if, 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 if I have time to finish it. Don't, 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 don't stop me. Don't, please, I, I beg you, don't stop me. Dr. Cullen, it's all right. Please, please, please. There's, there's nothing to worry about. Nothing to be afraid of. What is it? What do you see?
Dr. Starr. I can't let this go on any longer. What are you going to do? Something I should have done a very long time ago. Dr. Starr, can't Please, you... get out of my way. What is this? I was about to implant their brains. I've only been successful with one so far. It, it is the most difficult surgery in the whole process. Uh, one, one mistake, and we can't communicate. Dr. Collin was it? They must take and understand me. They can't know well what I feel. They know what I'm thinking, my desires. I'm sorry, Dr. Cullen, but this can't go on. You're exhausted. You've been up for nights. You're not eating. I cannot allow this destructive behavior to continue. What are you saying? I'm afraid I'm going to have to remove your clay. No, no, please. Don't you see what I'm doing? I can build you a perfect race of man. I can build you a whole perfect society. That's what you want, isn't it? That's what the state wants, isn't it? I can do that for you. And when you are tear bodies apart in the war, I can fix them. Only better than before. Hurry up. Clean everything out, strap them down, keep them quiet, do whatever you have to, understood? Run. Get away. Run. Hi. I saw your light was still on. What do you want? I want to talk to you about Dr. Cullen. There's nothing more to talk about. Vodka. It's imported. No, thank you. He'll be transported in the morning. Please, I know I can help him. You've already tried. He hasn't responded to any treatment. He's a hopeless case. I cannot justify his therapy any longer. Dr. Starr. That man saved hundreds of lives during the war. He's a brilliant surgeon. He was. Look at this.
this is not the work of a sane man. These little men have all their body parts, all of them. He told me that if he made his men in his own perfect image, then they would all come alive. Just give me another month. Oh, trust me, Dr. Jarris, there are some that we cannot save. Admit it. You're personally involved, aren't you? It's understandable. You're kind. It moved! <laughs> He's got you believing it, too. Here. You need one of these. Relax. Leave me alone. Did I say you could go? In my world, Dr. Jarris, there is no room for those who cannot fulfill a need. We have no function who cannot satisfy the intimate demands of the system. Everyone and everything must serve a purpose. And who decides? I do. I don't like your world, Dr. Starr. You don't like me. May I go? Go. Sorry. I don't know what else to do. If you'd only cooperated. That's a few baskets. That'd be so difficult. 